Yo, what's going on guys? Alex7 here and in today we've got a different type of video. As you guys know, a couple weeks back I posted a video on Tuge Attack. It's this new game made by this one developer and I haven't really posted anything about it since. But I have some beautiful update for you guys. Let's get straight into the developer Q&A. <clears throat> I know it's not for TDSC guys. I promise the Q&A for TDSC is gonna come. I promise. Just hold up on that so in the background i'm gonna have some new gameplay some new screenshots of the game guys obviously it is still work in development the demo is supposedly going to be coming out in roughly a few months and he's trying to get it to release the full game by the end of this year or early next year now again this q a i'm gonna go through all the questions and go through one by one with you guys so okay so let's start this up one of the first questions i asked was how many cards he's aiming to have in the game he says about 150 majority obviously of them being old jdm vehicles you won't really find a lamborghini huracan or ferrari performant <laughs> ferrari performante what do i say you only find a ferrari enter a vehicle name here or any other new modern vehicle this is strictly going to be jdm vintage old you know that era that i'm talking about now i do want to know these cars won't be licensed obviously it's going to be kind of like car x street where the cars look like it and they just have different names different brands but you guys get the gist i think midnight runners is also doing a similar thing so i asked what inspired the project he said uh he was always like cars and he was a huge fan of it from the 80s and 90s so the next question i asked him about was gas stations now guys do note this isn't open world it's kind of like there's different track areas you could say and within these areas you can get different npcs or do your two gay attack all the other type of stuff but um yeah gas stations can appear in third person or you can go to the garage and around the area you can interact with npcs which is pretty interesting right now the next question was about the uh, map locations and if they're based on real life locations the answer is yes they are is there going to be a japan highway no there will not now another one is a big question and i'm sure listen as a tdu fan i'm going to be asking these tdu type of questions i asked him about steering wheel animations and uh character animations and stuff like that and i do want to note 900 degree staring will be in the game and there will be character animation improvements so like you know your, your body's jerking you know forward back you feel the force of gravity all that good type of stuff um so car is stored in the garage is another thing um so one garage you start off with a possibility to expand and save cars and save objects such as parts guys so again really vague but at the same time it's a very interesting game i can't wait to see the demo so I'm sure we're going to be getting more information about that. Now, the next thing is uh, what features will be available. So Windows, Start, Stop, Engine, all of that. Now, he did say Windows can go down, but they will automatically go up when it rains. Wipers are toggable. Turning the car on and off is possible as well. And while you're driving and you're trying to change gears, um, the clutch, obviously, by the way, is simulated so you will stall your car if you do anything like that you can turn off and on the radio there's going to be a radio in the game as well apparently there'll be different stations and you'll be able to add your own songs to the station as well now for weather he said it's going to be dynamic um but you can be edited by the user night rain snow changing to maybe spring and fall later on i believe that's something that he's going to do post launch and liveries he is creating a livery system and uh, you will be able to share the livery system so long as the images that you use to create your livery are in the game. So for example, if you import a picture of Mickey Mouse into the game and you slap on your car, you won't be able to share that publicly. But if you create your own Mickey Mouse using the shapes in the game, then yeah, you can share that. Now again, I asked about the demo and he did say he's working on that right now. It's definitely coming out this year, guys. Probably within the next couple of months. Again, I'll keep you posted because I'm really interested to see how this game comes out. Now, I really do hope my voice didn't crack there. Sometimes I run out of breath and yeah. Yeah, you guys get on going. Now, for customization, you'll be able to change your body kits, uh, rims, spoilers, air suspension maybe as an update, seats, steering wheels, uh, gauges, shifters. This is going pretty in depth. Now, I also asked him about uh, circuit tracks that are found in, in Japan. Uh, he said he's thought about it, but they're not in the game right now, maybe for the future. Now, he also talked about you can build a wrecked car. Similar to Force Horizon or <clears throat> TDU, <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying, similar, similar. But basically, you're able to create a vehicle by finding all the parts for it, which is pretty cool and interesting. Now, I also asked him about which listing the game on Steam. Unfortunately, yet there is no Steam page for the game. I'll leave the Discord link to find the game as well in the description below. 
the Facebook page, the TikTok, all of that. In fact, it blew up on TikTok. I don't know how they got so many people, but yeah, it blew up on TikTok. But basically, approximately one month from now, we might be able to see on Steam, and then we can wish list that, and then a couple months after, we would see the demo. So we are getting close. Really interesting. Uh, Drift events. They will be in the final version. Uh, they might make it in time for the demo. And for tuning, you'll be able to adjust all the things you normally can in your car, um, including the sound, by the way. So when you change the you know, parts of your car, such as the exhaust tip, yes, the sound of the car changes. Very cool. Now, I also asked them about the TD2 co-op mode. As you guys know, you could sit in the car with your passenger and you could be driving. I asked him if that's in the game. He said, we might see this in the final version. So pretty cool for that as well. Trading system, which is the neatest thing I've seen so far. I'll pop up on the screen the UI for it, but basically you can trade anything for anything. Money, car and money for a part, um, rims and something for an engine, etc. Really interesting, but there will be a trading system in the game. So I also asked about the garages. Will we be able to walk around the car and open the doors? So he said he's seen it in other games and is possibly going to be added to the garage, which is going to be your main hub, I assume. Now when changing engine parts, will we see the IRL picture of the engine change? Yes, when you change parts, you will actually see a change in the vehicle. Now he's been making games for five years, but in the past two years, he's been making two gear attacks. So roughly two years, three years and a bit is when we're gonna be seeing the full dev time for two gear attack, really interesting. Now languages, of course, English, and some people offered to translate into Mandarin. He's not sure if he's gonna do that or not yet, but uh, for progression, you're gonna like this. You start off with little money. Car prices are based off IRL prices. So listen, there's gonna be progression in this game. Thank God, bro, it's about time you get something like that. So now let's talk about apartments. Yes, you can buy apartments in this game. You can drive your car into your garage as well. You can change your clothes in your apartment, save your game, you'll be able to walk around your garage. And the last but not least, the weather also affects the physics. But listen, this sounds pretty ambitious, but I'm very certain he's gonna do it. He's already done quite a bit of it. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check out the Discord. I'll leave a link down to it in the description below. Really excited to see what this demo looks like. In all honesty, it looks crazy. I really hope best of luck to the dev that's making the game. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on it as soon as I can. And if you did enjoy, leave a like down below and subscribe for more TDU. Whoa, <laughs> you guys listen. I'm, I'm thinking about TDU too often, bro. I know I'm a TDU channel, but I do cover other games, guys. Although I'm not gonna lie to you, it is definitely in my head right now. <laughs> I can't wait. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, I'm Alex7. I, I don't know what hand to use. And I'm out. Peace.